I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. The 2023 electric Genesis G80. Prestige without launch control. Send it. <laughs> That's with traction off. Pretty decent off the line. I like the tire squeal, horsepower and torque. 365 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque from two electric motors and an 87 kilowatt hour battery. And quickly, we have a meetup on Friday at Toronto Motorsport Park in Cayuga. We want to see all 1.51 million of you. Maybe you'll see this car here. Maybe you'll see the Prowler. Maybe the Fox body. We're going to have track driving, drag strip between 5 and 11. And then there's also going to be a jet truck that we booked. A friggin' jet truck. See you guys there. See you there. Don't miss it. So this is a normal Genesis sedan gas car that has been turned into an electric vehicle, unlike the GV60, which we recently drove. That was the full electric platform like the Ionic and EV6. Yeah, so it's kind of closer to the BMW i4 that we've driven because that's kind of a gas car that's been converted into electric car. So there's a lot of little weird things that we noticed with this one, starting with the floor being higher. So sitting in here, I noticed something was a little bit odd. It's because my heels are at a different angle. And then when I sit the back, my knees are at, like almost in my chest, which is really weird. Not for tall people. Yeah, which I didn't really expect, but it makes total sense. And then you notice the trunk space. Yeah, there's a, a lot less room because it's got the thing that sticks up for battery and motors and stuff like that, which is kind of like that old Focus electric. Right, so I'm gonna send this in sport mode with traction on. Let's see how it does through cliche corner. And, oh, my seatbelt seat belt tightened. Yeah, and it feels like a really big, heavy sedan that you just kind of floor and it kind of does stuff. and understeers not for sending more luxury yeah <laughs> but it's nice it's like kind of quick but it's not like quick quick it has the same amount of torque i think as the gv60 uh the gv60 in boost mode but way less horsepower like you don't get that like bah yeah so hit, the, hit me with it yeah like you don't get motion sickness this has 10 less horsepower than the gas powered g80 but then like hundreds of pound feet of more torque. Yeah, and you can do the thing in this where you turn traction all the way off, be in sport mode, turn the wheel, floor with a lot of battery in there, and, and you're gonna light up those tires and give a little smoky smoke like the uh, GV60. And but this is supposedly rear bias, but like the front smoke. They, they like have that. to do that for when you do dumb stuff like that because then the electric cars would just spin. Yes. But then if you were to roast off your tires, what would be the Continental recommended tire for an electric G80? The Extreme Contact DWS 06 Plus. And until June 30th, 2022, get a $70 prepaid Visa card with the purchase of four qualifying Continental tires. Go to continentaltire.com slash the straight pipes for full details. Link in the description and top comment. And back to that electric stuff that's a little bit different. Uh, if we pop the hood, we do not have a frunk. Yeah, even though we barely had one in the GV60, I am not mad at this. I understand what goes into making a gas car electric. Right, so they did the right things and everything makes sense and I actually really enjoy my time in this car. Because of what it is, it's a luxury sedan, I think I actually enjoy my time more in here than the BMW i4, although I really like that. That was more sporty, the suspension was a little bit more sorted out. This one has a touch of bounciness because of the EV batteries and stuff. The thing I like about this more than the i4 is that the i4 they got rid of the hard buttons to do the weird double screen thing and here they have the good Genesis infotainment, which they also had in the GV60. Like, I feel like BMW has gone down the totem pole and GV60 is almost, or all of Genesis is at the top now. I agree. This is uh, RIP BMW, RIP Mercedes, R. title R. of our video. RIP Kia, RIP uh, Hyundai. Yeah, because like they did everything right with this. And this even has a lot of range. Let's talk range, 454 kilometers as it sits. Okay, but what if I needed to charge from 10 to 80 and I also needed to meditate? <laughs> Okay, so there's a ridiculous marketing ad that I've seen on the Genesis website. It asks if 22 minutes of meditation can recharge our minds. Depends, but for sure, the car is 80% charged in 22 minutes with a disclaimer on the bottom. And this one actually has preconditioning, so maybe now if we hit up a fast charger that's 350 at the right time, put it in our navigation so we knew we were going there, we would be able to... Perhaps, but then we'd have to be at 10% yeah. to get it to 80%. So the disclaimer makes sense. Like you're never really going to get that even though it says for sure. Yeah, the, I mean the GV60, I got up to like 230. Yeah, cause this has the 800 volt architecture. Like these things do charge really quickly. I think the fastest that we've charged anything ever. Except for the, I think a Taycan I got up there once. Okay. 
But marketing BS aside, I think this is a great luxury vehicle. It's very quiet in here. We have active sound cancellation, so there's microphones canceling out the outside frequencies. Motorcycles just drove by and you couldn't really hear them. Yeah, yeah. Man, 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 man. Here's the suspension test. Just a touch bouncy, but like not near as bad as some EVs can be. A GV60 was nicer though. I, was, I thought I was, that was way more bouncy. I don't know, dude. I was flying over speed bumps, and it was like, boom, 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 still. Like, it was good. I did not like that suspension. I preferred this one. But it's not air suspensions. You can't lower it or anything like that. So it's got an okay stance from what we see. But the wheels, I think, are pretty decent looking. They're electric-y, but like not really at the same time. Just chill. Yeah, they're okay. Coming after you, Alpina. Yeah, but the looks, I think, are my favorite part. Because the first thing that I noticed was... Well, that's the same grill. No, it's not. You know how the regular one has like all the same patterns and everything? They Except, just reverse the pattern. Yeah. So the, the actual- Inver it's, I think it's called the inverted uh, yes, whatever. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what it is. I was like, holy crap, this is genius. The, the, the Genesis grill looks a lot better when it doesn't need air to tra travel through. Yeah, so this, I think it looks amazing. And then the charge port is built into the grill, which you pretty much can't even see. Yeah, it's nice. You just click it, it opens up. And that's good because pulling it to charging stations, if it's on the side, the charge is nothing standardized. The cables are heavy, they're long, twisting it's tricky. This makes charging easier. It does, but now let's get you in charge of this vehicle. The char the in charge. Driver's seat. The charge. The charger seat. Because I'm a child, I want to make burnout. <laughs> and the right inside wheel definitely left a bit of a patch only. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the cool thing about Genesis EVs is they do all-wheel drive inside front wheel burnouts when you turn it. Yes, they're they're funny to drive with traction off. Yeah, I mean, the speed's pretty good though. It's it's what I'd expect out of here. And then what's cool about this one, if I hold down the left paddle, Ooh. I can come to a full stop. Then if I click the right paddle, I'll lose regen, and the left one I can get more regen until I get to I pedal. And listen to that clickiness, like. It's that cool. is high quality. It's quality. But it doesn't say what mode of regen you're in anywhere on the gauge cluster or on the infotainment screen that I could find. But when you hit I pedal, it'll say I pedal. Then this does have highway driving assist. The little camera that watches your eyes it is very, very, very good. And it's got the 3D gauge cluster, which we love. We talked a lot about that in the GV60 video. And the gauges do look really cool. They have three different drive modes. You can tie them to each drive mode or just independently click one of them. But you know what sucks about this car compared to the GV60? Uh, I'm not sure, Yuri. Ah. Oh. No pumped in audio. Yeah, there's nothing. You can't even change it through the infotainment. So no. just silence. Now let's cut to that awesome clip of the GV60. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it would be cool if this had it and this has no launch control, but I understand this is like a repurposing thing. And the GV60 is like, we need to show off everything. It's got hidden drift mode. And this is clearly marketed at uh, older adults. Yeah, but it's cool. It's <laughs> Whereas the GV60 isn't. That's for like Young kids that want drift mode. And then uh, infotainment and our controller, we've got the awesome rotary dial, hard buttons, hard buttons up here for climate. We can touch the infotainment screen. However, it is a little far compared to the GV60. And we do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yeah, shortcut button to get to there. No issues at all. And then we do have Sirius XM satellite radio, which rewinds. And if you're looking to get a free three months, Hit up SiriusXM.ca or .com slash the straight pipes. Links below in the description. And then we have a wireless charger down here and it's all kind of covered in this nice wood looking trim. And then our cup holders do pass. They look really nice yeah, too. Yeah, they might get in the way with this flap though. Potentially a lid but depending on small, the size. Yeah, yeah. But then we have buttons down here too for drive mode and your camera. And if you hold that down, then you get the automatic parking stuff where you can get out of the car and all that. And what about the visors? Uh, <laughs> This is too, this too, is too close to the ceiling. Three, <laughs> two, one. Full pass. Yeah, I, def I definitely feel a little too close to the ceiling, Full especially pass. when like I'm pulling out the visor and stuff. Yeah, so if you're going to the racetrack, uh, not a lot of room for buckets. The Hellfire Chamber. Bring your family to the Toronto Motorsports Park. For more, see torontomotorsportspark.com. The Hellfire Chamber. So, okay, let's go back to the looks because all we did was mention the wheels and the grill. The body lines, the taillights, the headlights, everything is pretty much normal Genesis G80. What about the exhaust tips, Yuri? 
No exhaust tips. So it's not the same. I said pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, I was no. just getting to I know, that. I know. It looks like you'd, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference is seeing it quickly. Yeah, yeah, especially from the side. Which is a plus. Like, I, I love people, that. For some people. True. I, I fell in love with the looks of the, the like, light teal GV60. So for me, like, no question looks was I would take that. And but, I love this because I love my sedans. Yeah, yeah. And moving back in here, these seats are very comfortable. We do have sort of a massage function. Yeah, and I, I like these seats more than all the rest of the Genesis seats. I think this is even more comfortable than the GV60. Okay. And then uh, this seat, again, passenger seat can move forward and back with these buttons on the side, so that's cool. On the back, it's got a nice armrest that comes down so you can kind of be executive style back there for short people. Yes, because otherwise, knees and chest, and then we also have a rear sunshade, and then we have manual peasant blockers on the sides. Yeah, so that's also nice to have. And no sunroof. Huh. Maybe, maybe that's an electric thing. Maybe. They're like, we can put the battery below and yeah. make the whole floor underneath flat. Because it's not a carbon roof or anything. But so. we just don't want to deal with a sunroof. Yeah. Maybe it's a rigidity thing. Maybe. For like a repurposing car. And a little cliche corner sand in sport with all the traction on. This thing is definitely throwing me around the place. <laughs> it feels feels nice. doesn't feel like it's not too fast for cliche corner. It's no. like just right. And the traction really held me back. If I had it off, I'm sure I would have gone no, right into I, the ditch. I tried that earlier. It doesn't really quite do that. Even with everything off? Yeah. Nice. It just doesn't. That's good. It doesn't have enough power to do that. So time to get to the price? Yeah, except uh, at the time of filming, we've got this so early that we don't have the price. So if we do, we will flash it up on the screen right now. However, if you're shopping for a G80, go to tsp.truecar.com, discounted price offers. Now I'm going to take a guess. I think this is going to be around $80,000 Canadian. Based on my math of the GV60 starting at $71,000, the BMW i4 starting at $72,000 and having less range, and the gas G80 Prestige that we drove was $76,000. Yeah, $80,000 is the price guaranteed. I'm definitely not overlaying the actual price right now, which is any different. Yes, let Sorry. us know in the comments because we're watching this with you guys <laughs> after we edit it. So this compared to a lot of the electric cars we reviewed recently, I would take a GV60 over this and you would? I would take this, I think, over everything so far, even the Mercedes EQS, because that was just so confusing to drive. The back seat room in this compared to the back seat room in the EQS. I definitely have more headroom in this car, but I had more leg room or leg comfortability in the EQS. And then this compared to the i4 for a gas car turned into an electric car, I think i4 drives a lot better but because they got rid of the hard buttons that's a no for me dog and i will go g80 i would recommend either this or the bmw i4 if you prefer to have a more driver's car the i4 definitely rips harder but if you just want more luxury and kind of a better overall general experience that's more comforting i would go this one yeah if you want your 22 minutes of meditation you gotta go g80 ev yes for sure in 22 minutes <laughs> see you guys See you later.